You're watching the marketplace. Let's move on to some other developing story. Cocoa haulers from the various warehouses of Ghana Cocoa Board have begun an indefinite strike to demand better service conditions and increment in salaries. According to the workers who work under the Cocoa Marketing Company, there has been a freeze in pay rise for the past five years without any explanation from their managers. The nationwide strike will affect the transport of the commodity uh, since the cocoa trucks cannot be loaded to the ports for export. Here are some of the workers. Christmas <laughs> I'm going to go to the market. I'm going to go to the market. I'm going to go to One bag, 31 pesos. I'm going to go to the market. 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 And uh, those were some visuals we received from uh, Tema, where the workers are stationed earlier in the day. One of the leaders of the striking workers, Godwin Okansi, joins me on phone uh, to talk some more about this. And um, I just want to know, have you heard from management of the cocoa marketing company about the concerns that you have raised? Godwin, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Have you heard from management of the cocoa marketing company about your concerns? Yes, actually, yesterday we met with the MD. And then what the MD is saying is that last year they increased our payment by 7%. And then as the season was starting at 1st October 2021, they've increased it with 5% again, making 12%. Mm. All this, um, I would say, is not true. Because Cocoa Carriers have not received anything like that. We confirmed from our directors whether this increment was made known to them, but they are also denying it. Okay, and so what does that mean? Since you are saying their claims are not true, are you going to further engage? For how yes. long are you going to be on strike? Yes, um, actually, we've forwarded several concerns to them earlier the year, uh, 2021. And they've not done anything about it. Um, what they always tell us is that we should go ahead and then uh, uh, consult with our directors. Yet our directors don't do the work. We are on the field. We are doing the work. We know how the work is. So we are telling you that if a uh, 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 subject of pure water is 40 pesos now, and then you carry one bag of cocoa, which is weighing 64 kilograms, and it can buy one subject of pure water, then what are we working for? You understand? So we are telling them that the 62 pesos they are giving for us as lay and load, they mm -hmm. should increase it to one CD, 50 pesos down, 50 pesos up. And it's as simple as that. And two, we don't go to clinic. We don't go to clinic. We are working on the cocoa board. Pallets will fall on people's legs and then they are being abandoned. You understand? So we are saying that one, they should increase our payment to one CD as loaning and loading. Two, we will have to go to clinic. Three, when Oponi was there, Oponi was giving us bus. 
that was conveying us from our homes to the warehouses. In Tema region here, we have about seven warehouses. The bus conveys each and every carrier to the warehouses. Yet, five years now, nothing like that have, have happened. Okay. All right. Uh, Godwin, we will continue to follow this and see how um, your engagement with management of the Cocoa Marketing Company goes. Hopefully, there's some good news for you.